Researchers at MIT invented a battery-free and wireless camera to image the underwater world. Scientists estimate that more than 95% of Earth's oceans have never been observed, which means we have seen less of our planet's ocean than we have the flat side of the moon or the surface of Mars. The high cost of powering an underwater camera for a long time by tethering it to a research vessel or sending a ship to recharge its batteries is a steep challenge preventing widespread undersea exploration. MIT researchers have taken a major step to overcome this problem by developing a battery-free wireless underwater camera that is about 100,000 times more energy efficient than other undersea cameras. The device takes colored photos, even in dark underwater environments, and transmits image data wirelessly through the water. The autonomous camera is powered by sound. It converts mechanical energy from sound waves traveling through water into electrical energy that powers its imaging and communications equipment. After capturing and encoding image data, the camera also uses sound waves to transmit data to a receiver that reconstructs the image. Because it doesn't need a power source, the camera could run for weeks, enabling scientists to search remote parts of the ocean for new species. It could also be used to capture images of ocean pollution or monitor the health and growth of fish raised in aquaculture farms. This technology could help build more accurate climate models and better understand how climate change impacts the underwater world. The research paper is published in the journal Nature Communications. To build a camera that could operate autonomously for long periods, the researchers needed a device that could harvest energy underwater on its own while consuming very little power. The camera occurs energy using transducers made from piezoelectric materials that are placed around its exterior. Piezoelectric materials produce an electric signal when a mechanical force is applied to them. When a sound wave traveling through the water hits the transducers, they vibrate and convert that mechanical energy into electrical energy. Those sound waves could come from any source like a passing ship or marine life. The camera stores harvested energy until it has built up enough to power the electronics that take photos and communicate data. To keep power consumption as low as possible, the researchers used off-the-shelf ultra-low power imaging sensors. But these sensors only capture grayscale images, and since most underwater environments lack a light source, they needed to develop a low power flash too. They solved both problems simultaneously using red, green, and blue LEDs. When the camera captures an image, it shines a red LED and then uses image sensors to take the photo. It repeats the same process with green and blue LEDs. Even though the image looks black and white, the red, green, and blue colored light is reflected in the white part of each photo. When the image data are combined in post-processing, the color image can be reconstructed. Once image data are captured, they are encoded as bits, ones and zeros, and sent to a receiver one bit at a time using a process called underwater backscatter. The receiver transmits sound waves through the water to the camera, which acts as a mirror to reflect those waves. The camera either reflects a wave back to the receiver or changes its mirror to an absorber so that it does not reflect back. A hydrophone next to the transmitter senses if a signal is reflected back from the camera. If it receives a signal, that is a bit 1. And if there is no signal, that is a bit 0. The system uses this binary information to reconstruct and post-process the image. This whole process, since it just records a single switch to convert the device from a non-reflective state to a reflective state, consumes five orders of magnitude less power than typical underwater communication systems. The researchers tested the camera in several underwater environments. In one, they captured color images of plastic bottles floating in a New Hampshire pond. They were also able to take such high-quality photos of an African starfish that tiny tubercles along its arms were clearly visible. The device was also effective at repeatedly imaging the underwater plant in a dark environment over the course of a week to monitor its growth. Now that they have demonstrated a working prototype, the researchers plan to enhance the device so it is practical for deployment in real-world settings. 
they want to increase the camera's memory so it could capture photos in real time, steam images or even shoot underwater video. They also want to extend the camera's range. They successfully transmitted data 40 meters from the receiver, but pushing that range wider would enable the camera to be used in more underwater settings. This will open up great opportunities for research both in low power IoT devices as well as underwater monitoring and research.